It's a week. Too hot to handle. Uh, anyway, so we are and, uh, playing. Uh, you can see everyone, uh, our, our friends uh, who are joining us today. Uh, they're all here except for Chuck and uh, and Ivan, who is not. Larry. <laughs> yeah. Brad, Shaq, Meshack, and a bad I now, I now pronounce. Um, yeah, so we're going to play some poker. We'll see where this takes us. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to start. <laughs> what, is that, what, what does that mean? <laughs> oh, we're gonna poker. transition to strip poker. That's yeah. right. I already bit my kids. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start the game. Let's go. Boom. All right. Boom. Here we go. All right. Hey, there's Chuck's face. There he oh, is. I like that you put Damn. on sunglasses. Go yeah, of course. Back. You have. You yeah, have no, to I can't see that. what you're thinking. Yeah, no one could see I what I'm thinking. I should. I should have my one of my masks on. I think I have That's one in my right. pocket. How the uh-huh. hell do I play this? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> That's the best. Make a bet. Oh, he folded. <laughs> that was oh, quick. Man. <laughs> didn't yeah, like his hand. I didn't know it was time. Yeah, that's how real poker works. You can't just sit there forever. <laughs> it's also like uh, when I first played like chess online. This and bef- this is before uh, Queen's Gambit. Uh, like I would Eric. go like I would go like half an hour to an hour before making moves because I would, I would just plan it all out. And then in reality, when you play, it's like oh, I gotta make a move right now. Yeah. Okay. The good thing. Uh, quick question. Uh, I, what is what does check mean? If I want, what does it mean? If I want to check something. Uh, it means you can. It means it you can means pass. when the king needs. To oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, but you can't. You can't do it all the time. Gotcha. Knight to e five. <laughs> Uno. I never learned how to play chess. So I don't have the patience for it. Oh, Ethan, you should hide your hand maybe on the stream or... Oh, oh shit, or, yeah. Or everybody just don't look at the stream. I Well, I wasn't paying attention, so I didn't oh, see Oh, maybe, maybe that's why Spencer's, Spencer's suggestion of me being where I would be it would be a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just moved it over. Okay, I can't, uh, I can't check the... Uh... Well, I mean, I think it's fine. You just have to just pay attention to the chat. Like none of us can look at it, but no, um, I can't. I can't. I think you it doesn't really work camera. for me. Oh, even with your two monitors? No, it doesn't. I'm not. You you don't understand. This the OBS sucks. Okay, I'm tell. Okay. I can't change the set. I can't change the title of the stream, and my chat <laughs> is like <laughs> fucked up. So. Mm. Well, I guess yeah. We have to. I have to keep <laughs> keep an eye on the chat, but. Yeah, don't don't worry. Now 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 my 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 thing is covered. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, this is a new hand. <laughs> nice yeah, job, MJ. Hand. Yeah, new hand. Ugh. All right, uh, no one folded in the first I, round. If I had Good to, job. If I had to play this, for us. if I if I had to play this, uh, so that terrorists wouldn't get money. <laughs> oh um, my god. If Spectre <laughs> wouldn't get money, I would lose. Oh, this is okay. a, this is a reference to uh, Casino Royale, which I hope maybe mm. I thought maybe one of you would change. That's a long winded reference to it. That's the oh, yeah, Mary Kate and Ashley. Yeah, it's a Mary Kate and Ashley. Movie. <laughs> yes, they go to they play they go to a casino. I think. Yeah, Mary Kate and Ashley go to the casino. Yeah, it's my they favorite go to the one. Casino Royale. Go to, <laughs> they go to the Casino Royale. Yeah, it'd be fun to walk into a casino and be like, "Is this the Casino Royale?" <laughs> <laughs> where, where can I find the casino? I'm trying where, to get to where, the, where's where's the, the chief? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's what's actually kind of funny is that when I was a kid when um when Casino Royale came out, right? I um I um I was like obsessed with poker because it just looks so cool. And I I was in Vegas or something, and so like my parents were like you know getting the reservation for the room or whatever. So I just walked over as like a 10 year old kid and sat at the table and all these guys like looked over like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, Oh, I can't sit here and watch and say, no, you can't sit here. And I'm like, okay. Unfortunate. Yeah. You should have been like, well, you guys are way too early. What? Does not. Oh, you piece of shit. Look at that river. Um, this is river. yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Beautiful <laughs> river. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. I'm just from the. I shouldn't server. have called. Oh, Never mind. Should have called. Yeah, you the stream uh, stuttered a bit, but it looks good now. I want to make sure I quit yeah, everything you look good else. Now. Yeah. 
Let's all go to a casino. Let's do it. Damn it. it. Damn it, Ivan! I would have beat you. I would have beat you. <laughs> you won off of a two pair, man. That was a I had a two pair also. The only time I went to Vegas was on a uh, family vacation, National Lampoon. Um, nice. And uh, I was a little boy, uh, and so I wasn't allowed to gamble. <laughs> and I didn't sit. Boy. I didn't sit at the table. But it's like, yeah, the day that everyone went to the casino, I well, you like, can't even go on the floor. Well, they, I was allowed on the floor, but I wasn't allowed to sit down. Was apparently the rule, uh, oh, okay. because because like I dragged a, a chair over from a slot machine because I was just fucking standing there, <laughs> and um, uh, and uh, yeah, I I dragged a chair over into like the middle of the walkway, <laughs> which is maybe why they kicked me out. But I just wanted to make sure it was clear that I was not by. You were you weren't at the table. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, they still said, Oh, you can't sit down here. And so it's like, okay. What is a little boy like me supposed to do? Right. I know. Not everyone. My circus. girlfriend was working there. And I played one slot on the way in. Never went back to the casinos. <laughs> and then we went on a hike to I want to go see the Hoover Dam. Uh because I'm a structural engineer, and those are cool. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Jesus, we. Uh, it turns out the hike was like four hours. They said you had to bring a gallon of water each. We brought like three quarters of an algae. Yeah. Like, <laughs> halfway through, I was like, "I'm gonna die here. This is <laughs> it's over." We did that um, yeah. when we went to the Grand Canyon. We went on a what they called a a light hike. Uh, which yeah. was like an hour and a half hike, and it was like 108 degrees, and we had like one 32 ounce bottle of water. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. and I'm like used to the East Coast where it's like when you go on a hike, they're like, "All right, put on a flannel, huh? let's go like wander <laughs> in New Hampshire." A hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they said a light hike, and I said, "Oh, okay, I've done one of those before." <laughs> yeah. Yeah, of course I've done a light hike. I grew yeah, up near. Yeah, to them a, a light hike is fucking yeah. An hour and a half in 108 <laughs> degrees. Yeah, you look like a Patagonia ad. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh. I'm gonna fucking lose all my money. I'm just like, I'm just gonna. Good thing this is all fake and we can just yeah, restart. All fake money. Yeah. Wait, hey guys, you guys didn't just tie in a thousand dollars to your PayPal account? Come on, this is how it works. Nope. <laughs> you didn't make an account and just put yeah, your credit geez. card info in. I am. I am under guest. I didn't even sign in. <laughs> what are you guys doing, okay, man? Don't raise this shit. Why did you raise it up? <laughs> Don't raise this. It's not your baby. <laughs> Yo, baby. Payday. It's not payday. I'm a driver. Is Ivan a hustler? Hold on. He's like, how do I play? Says the guy with double his money, dude. Come on. <laughs> I know, right? Get the fuck out of here. I'm much better at real life poker. Okay. I don't know. What that <laughs> okay, means. dope, bro. Okay, boomer. You guys see the OK Boomer check did a remake? Oh, she did, yeah. right? Who, oh, it I need for, to. Who was it, it for this time? Uh, it wasn't it said as Eat the Rich on it. <laughs> oh, it was for AOC. Rich. That's right. Yeah, she yeah. did the AOC thing. Wait, Nico yeah. Lowe um, did that? Yeah, yes. she did something for AOC, and someone someone said it's like she he passed she passed the curse onto her. Yeah, so she should well, do I'm a sure. prequel to those. <laughs> a prequel Another to the sequel. Okay. She should do a fucking prequel where she's like What's doing it? it for like fucking like like FDR. Rock Pro. <laughs> yeah. fdr yeah <laughs> we're, we're the, let's do it like we should do a a, a, a roast of fdr next <laughs> yeah, stream dude, nice fucking wheelchair next stream dude. yeah we just <laughs> <That's a wheelchair. laughs> we should do like a bunch of like snl like 2018 like cold opens but if it was like 19 like like 40 yeah yeah <laughs> We well, I'll, I'll call Kate McKinnon. Uh huh. <laughs> and it could be like Roosevelt, UCAD, 
<laughs> I can't think of any specific thing that was Rudy happening. Rudy Giuliani is there somehow for some reason. <laughs> yeah, Rudy Giuliani is there. You know how Kate McKinnon always plays a character with like hands like this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she does that for Roosevelt, but it's for polio. Oh no. He does her feet like that. Her legs, yeah, her legs <laughs> just are like limping around everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know yeah. what's funny? I love like, how everyone... she plays FDR. Yeah. Give her an Emmy. <laughs> of course. Right. I think she has one. Yeah. She probably does. Andrew Cuomo has an Emmy. Let's not forget. That that's, dude that's rules. unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. That's a weird trivia. Yeah. Uh, my boss at work only listened to Rush Limbaugh into the office oh, next man. to mine. Oh, all right. Nice. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> dude, they've been doing yeah, an in memoriam for him, and people keep calling in and being like, "I've been so sad all week. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to go on." And don't. I, I just can't. <laughs> Without Rush, Parody. there's no light in my life. I'm like this. This is insane. You sound forty. How are you crying? <laughs> I'm sure you'll find. This is what happens. This is what happens when like a whole generation of people are told they're not allowed to have feelings. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one little tipping point for them, and they lose it all. Yeah. I'm so happy right that's now. Your I would have had a flush. Right? What if instead of oh, you would have? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> I'm totally Let's not get looking Kate up McKinnon how to win Rush poker Lumba. on my phone. <clears throat> you got, you got to play the how do I count cards when the game is digital? <laughs> <laughs> Asking for a friend. It doesn't change how many cards there are in the deck just because it's digital. <laughs> yeah, but they can, you know, they can throw a, a, a whole wrench in the, in the process here. Oh, I don't think they do, though. You, ever seen you, Terminator? You, you would never know. Hey, oh, baby! Finally a win for big ass! Nope. No. We all went off of pairs, like, and then yeah. Thank off. God that paid off. I was yeah, really worked early. Yeah, I'm really getting fucked here. Yeah. yeah, I finally have. I I thought I was. I thought I was gonna go broke. <laughs> go for broke all day. Go for broke. Called hustling. Let's get some menswear talk in the chat. These sunglasses I'm wearing. I don't know if they've ever been talked about uh, on the blog or on the podcast. These are vintage 1950s shades from uh, Old Focals in Pasadena. If you're in Southern California and want some really cool sunglasses, I recommend that place. I remember when you got those, I was there. Yeah, I was so worried. These are like the first like nice pair of sunglasses, and by nice, I mean more than like $20. <laughs> oh, well. No yeah, problem. I have... Uh... Um, and I was so worried I, I was going to transition. So. I haven't so far, so that's good. Have you lost other pairs of sunglasses before? I've lost every other pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. Well, <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunate. I mean, like, the, the, like all my sunglasses were previously $10. They were from, like, a place. Uh, there, there's a place called um, Zero UV, I think. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> and so the, the, the warehouse is actually in like the town where I live. It's like ten minutes from my Shit. house, um, and it's not a store. It's a like shipping warehouse. But if you break. drive over there and pretend to be confused, they'll just let you buy sunglasses <laughs> <laughs> rather than like pay for shipping. I just go over there and be like, "Wait a minute, you guys aren't a store." You um, Google. Yeah, and I would tell them, well, I'm looking for these, and then they would just give them to me. <laughs> Crap. Ooh, the kind. Man, I, had a, I had two pairs. I had Damn a two it. pair of clean and tens. But I have one. I gotta, be so, I gotta stop being so flippant with my newfound 12. <laughs> man, I am gonna go broke any minute now. <laughs> yeah, these deals are bad, man. Yeah, this... Are yeah, these okay. sunglasses? I like add more money to my okay. account. Are they what? Well, no, Are these they, like, this, they were they were like just vintage frames, but they put in new lenses. Nice. Yeah. I kind of need oh. new shades. I lost my last pair. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm really happy with these. Like these are like I mean, just like really versatile. They're just kind of like a slightly. Are they more... Ray Bans esque? Yeah, Wayfairs. they're like yeah, I'll, like kind of Wayfarers. I think they're a little bit more like fifties. I guess. I was just yeah. saying, I think Wayfarers could come back. They pay it past that peak. They always look cool. Yeah. Yeah. 
Like, but JFK like, will it has gold to be, circle ones. It, yeah, it has to be not the like the ones you get at the beach because everyone had those ones, like those beach sunglasses. Can I describe to you the worst pair of sunglasses? Go for it. <laughs> of course. Plastic, oversized wayfarers, armbands, different color. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> I saw an adult man wearing those this weekend at a brewery, and I was like, "Oh my!" <laughs> those are like all of the all of the knockoff versions of them. Yeah, from like uh, all like promos and all that. Yeah, I hate the like really bright like plastic wayfarers that you fucking yeah. like get at the beach or whatever. Um, you see some like of those, and you're like, dude, colleges. grow up and get tortoise yeah. shell. Just yeah, exactly. not tortoise shell, 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 shell. there's no point. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. The, oh, I don't. I always God. like. Thank fucking <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> I just, I just need to have like thin. Another pair and again, wins. forgive me. I'm a non glasses wearer, so if I get the terminology wrong, but like the th- arms or whatever on the side, those need the to be legs. thin. I don't like <laughs> the legs. I don't like yeah. um thick thick arms on sunglasses or glasses in general i think they're called temples temples yeah Yeah. temple of doom i remember like when when i was uh in high school like i i think i saw a guy with like the matte like wayfarers but then like the the lenses themselves were like really reflective and like blue and i remember like oh those are sick as hell i gotta get those (laughs) but i only had one of the dumb ones Here's the other pair that I have, and these are from Zero UV, the place I was just talking about. And these are just like tortoise shell P3s, which I I, I keep them. I don't know these are my backups. I think they're a little Piece bit big. Shit. Um, but here they here they are. And then I think somewhere I probably have like a like a, a Clubmaster or Browline style. Why did we start with a thousand? What we could have made of any number, and we all just were like, "We'll do a well, thousand. I, that, 10K. That's what I said. Like, I said, "Should I just put a thousand? Like, I don't know what this is." And then I was like, "Well, I don't want anyone else to have." It was money. just money. No one knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that that gives you that gives. We're gonna us get a like bill. A, They're gonna invoice us. <laughs> that gives uh, us an, like a collection. A, a lose. Yeah. A lose. You gotta put ten it. bucks on it, or else it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> yeah. It, it really. <laughs> It's hard. Someone to charge me to watch sports if I don't gamble on them because I'm like, all right, like, what do I care if the Sox win today? It's like 180 games, but you put like 10 bucks on it to win 15. You're like, I'll watch the sixth inning. Oh man, Kiyoshi, big. Big spender. Hey, big spender. Uh... Fuck. (laughs) (laughs) Dong. Uh, I was supposed to go to a friend's, like, wedding in Vegas uh, fall 2020, Um, obviously. I mean, that was planned, like, fall 2019. Um then it became pretty, pretty, pretty soon. Jesus, Kiyoshi. <laughs> but I, yeah, we're getting shit hands. <laughs> but yeah, if he is him. still having it in Vegas, like still having his wedding in Vegas after the pandemic, I'm kind of excited to put together some Vegas outfits. Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas, baby. I'm going to uh, rob a place of all my old friends. More like Las Vegas. Yeah. When I was a kid, I thought it was Las Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> well, good thing you found sense. it. Well, no, it's so I I remember <laughs> like I remember as like a this was like very young, um, hearing some news about <laughs> Las Vegas on the news, and again I thought it was Las Vegas, and I was like, wait, they know where Las Vegas is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Atlantis. <laughs> it's like the, well, uh, uh, the city of, city of uh, youth, fountain of youth. There you go. Hmm. Oh, I used to think that um, uh, all pieces of uh, of culture, uh, pop culture, were related if it has sounded similar to each other. And by that, I mean at, uh, what was it? Is it Caesar's? No, the Venetian or Caesar's Palace? I forgot which one it is. Um 
but there's like an Atlantis show or whatever at one of the uh, things. Yeah. I thought, oh shit, they have an attraction for Atlantis, the Lost Empire, the Disney animated <laughs> film there. <laughs> And I'm like, I want to get into a sub pod and 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 fight the Leviathan and and get the 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 crystal. And then I I watched it recently or not recently, like a couple of years ago. I looked it up on YouTube, like if anyone has like a video of that particular attraction. And um, it was not good. It's not fun. Oh no, that's a shame. I think I'm gonna need to get some. I think I'm gonna need to get some black clothing before I go to Vegas. I'm trying to think of the hell, Chuck. I'm trying to think of my ideal Vegas fits, and I think they all involve black cowboy boots. I think they do too. Yeah. It's just I should watch Aloha. Casino. It's the Aloha shirts. That's all you need for Vegas, baby. I don't think Aloha. I I think I want to go more Western. I think. Chuck really wants the pot. Man, Jack <laughs> putting the money down. Yeah. Wait, engineer, are you sure he's not counting cards? Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Two Jeez. pair. Good hand. Like Vegas is great. the perfect place to deploy the, as I call it, uh, like 50s con artist. I got baited. Ooh, that's a good look. Yeah. So, like, like kind of like right. Western wear mixed with, like, I don't know, like sharks, like black shark skin or something like that. That's, yeah. that's ideal. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going to have to come shape. back to this game under a new pseudonym because I'm going to run out of money. <laughs> yeah, right, me too. <laughs> I'm the least. I am broke. The second least. Do Life imitates art, am I right, boys? Take place, yeah. Like in a time period or modern day? What is that? Heist movies, modern day? Or like one set in the 50s? I see. Okay. Ooh, I mean, I think. A period heist film film would be great, but I watched uh, the original Ocean's Eleven. I rewatched it for the first time since high school last year. Me too. Um, and it is like way less exciting than the original. <laughs> that the heist sequence is like not very good. They didn't figure out the heist genre until until later. I think. I have two I was, thoughts on this. I was going to say one. Uh, oh yeah. Oh no. Go ahead. Just go. One. The second movie in that, I never remembered it being as awful as it was. Oh, Ocean's Twelve and Two. That movie tried ah. so hard to convince me Julia Fox was hot. Or I'm so pissed. Julia now. Roberts I'm was off. hot. Julia Roberts. Julia Fox is hot. Yeah, exotic leathers. Sorry, I just clicked back over to the chat. Uh, for the first time in a while. Cards Ethan got for the first time. I was gonna. I was gonna say. Um... I think more movies should be, should have like uh like like genre movies should be set period because I think that makes a fun spin on it. Like I think there should be a modern movie, but it's a heist movie set in like the fifties or sixties. Yeah, I think. I mean, yeah, I just like period pieces in general, so maybe I'm biased, but that's always a little bit more fun. I'm just I'm over like scenes where they show like a high tech stuff and there's like a screen that's like they like show up projection like a 3d model and they like spin it they're like we'll enter here like <laughs> show blueprints yeah. fuck yeah baby yeah. nice i lost, nice. I lost everything whoa on the <laughs> wow. you about to lose the kids <laughs> you about to lose the kids oh my Shit, god man. Because I was telling Spence, I was like, we instead of making instead of making a modern James Bond movie, why don't we just make more '60s James Bond movies? I feel like that's cooler. It make you know, it just like next James Bond is just set in the '60s. Yeah, and I feel like that makes it much more interesting, especially you know if you want to like, listen. I only I only care if James Bond if it's uh, Daniel Craig in the worst fitting suit possible. <laughs> I think Bond should be hot. That's where my head's at. So. You think Bond should be hot? <laughs> Daniel Craig. That's my only <laughs> <laughs> Okay, why is everyone fucking betting and we don't have cards on the goddamn table yeah, yet? This is. Hey, I folded. <laughs> I'm not I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna have to fold. Like, I can't keep. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> Jason, I'm gonna. Jason, are gonna come back under new names. <laughs> I'm just thinking about Casino again. Really good movie. 
Yeah. Really glad, glad I, I didn't play it. that hand. That was <laughs> yeah, really glad. I, I, this, this, is, <laughs> this is my, I guess, Scorsese hot take, but I think uh, Casino is better than Goodfellas. Um, I have only seen Casino once. I've seen Goodfellas countless times. Mm. Uh, I have seen but neither. I do of for that. a rewatch of Casino because I last watched it when I was like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. I just, yeah, I just love Casino. Um, and there's a, there's a great, I mean, we could, we, we, I've suggested an episode about the, I mean, maybe it could be a combined episode of like Goodfellas Casino, but there's what would so. What you say like, is your favorite movie of all time? My favorite movie of all time? All time? All- I don't know. I have trouble picking favorites, but I've just like, I don't know. I really like Inherent Vice. <laughs> Normally I just say that. That's like another movie that I could watch. Just like I've never like, seen it. Oh, you should check it out. It's really good. All right. I will. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say your favorite movie is? What, what, what was it? Sorry. I was focusing Inherent on the Vice. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. good movie. Uh, from Russia with Love is really good. Um, yeah. Love uh, from Russia with Love. The score is good. I do love. Um, What's his name? Robert Shaw as Grant in that film. Uh, the bad, the specter bad guy. I Grant have from that. Mythbusters? I'm going to laugh if Ethan's going, going bad and hard on like a pair of twos or something. He has a pair of threes. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> that would be impressive. Yeah, I'd be pissed because I also have the, you know, Everyone's got that pair of threes. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Bankrupt Why is Spencer <laughs> betting so weird. Push him out. Dude. Push him out. <laughs> yeah, there's no MJ. Oh shit, MJ's dead. I have no choice. <laughs> dead <laughs> man walking. <laughs> and I oh, 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 Jesus. Three of a kind. Both out of full oh, house. Wow. Fuck full that. House. I- I'm yeah, really glad I me was out of the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. He kicked him yeah, out. Like he, he, he kicked him out. He's he doesn't have the reach. He's in the stretcher. He's gonna have to yeah, come back in disguise. Just just to just refresh, join it again, reconnect your thing. Okay, how much how much money should I put in? Just do a thousand. Yeah, what's buy back in? Buy back? Oh yeah, do do yeah. do like do six hundred or whatever. Put like ten grand, back. like just unlimited. Six hundred. Yeah, because buy back is like smaller than the original amount, right? So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put nine hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Got a, got a bad hand. Got a bad hand. Ivan, I I bet ninety four dollars. I bet. What's the uh? What's the bad luck hand? Like the hand that if you get it, you die. It's these hands. Okay, all right. All right. These hands are the bad luck hands. Well, for okay, I'm gonna Google cowboy who died. If you get tarot cards. Delta yeah, that's pretty bad. Well, you get dealt, on. you get dealt like the chariot and like the world, and you're like, what the fuck do I do with this? Uh, oh no. Some like, some parts of Asia. Oh, is this a these, high card uh, or fours and sevens? <laughs> you get an you get, you get an Uno card. <laughs> okay, so the dead man's you hand. You off a pair again. The dead man's hand is. Ethan, uh, can you let me in? Yeah, sorry. I'm seeing here. <laughs> there we go. Approve on next. Is two pairs black aces and eights. So if you get that, uh, you know you're gonna die. What if I'm already dead? Uh, then you're gonna, I don't know, die again in the Beetlejuice uh, waiting room. <laughs> nice. Yeah. My favorite place to wait. Do you love waiting there? I love waiting. Be careful. That's copyrighted. Is it? No, I don't not, know. not the words. <laughs> Yeah, what what if my acapella is so good at? I mean, remember when like Disney tried to copyright like fucking like Aloha or whatever? Like they they tried to copyright some like phrase that like is very common. Uh, did yeah. you see how uh, they had to mute Metallica's a uh, Twitch stream? That or was something? kind of funny. Yeah. That's... And 
I was reading that they were like really going really hard into like, you know, copywriting stuff on the internet. Mm. Let's go, Ivan. Thirty-four dollars. <laughs> my God. Oh Jesus! It's gonna be hard out there. It is. That's right in Southern said. California. Dude. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, baby. Anyone follow Simon Crompton's Permanent Style Awards? <laughs> Piece no! of shit. Ethan. <laughs> what did he win with? A uh, two pair. Two pair. Oh, fuck. Always. Ooh, I should have stayed in then. So I'm going to go bankrupt uh... too. <laughs> uh, I've been watching. Can someone pull it up? Or Spencer, you want to pull it up? We can, what, we can go uh... through it later on, maybe, if I can figure this out. What are we talk? What are you talking about? The Permanent Style Awards. We'll go through oh, sure, it. Yeah. We'll, fo- we'll focus on the game for now. Okay, here yeah. we go. Uh, I guess I've just been getting good hands lately. More like my diamond hands, even though <laughs> it dropped back to 260 today, which is stupid, but whatever. It was at 350 when I woke up. Let me know when it drops <laughs> under 100. I'll buy in. No, I don't yeah, know. I it's too late. Thing. No, Spencer, it's too late. I don't want it to go back. Or when it drops know. under 100 again. If it drops under 100 again... I'll have mixed feelings. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I think it's over now. If, if that's if that's the case. Yeah, cause cause when did you buy? When it was like 110 or something. I got it. I got like three shares at 110. Like, they were talking about GameStop. And one share, one or two Stunk. shares, like 100, like 100 flat. So okay. yeah. Cause I checked this morning. What was it? 290. It, no, it was. It went up to 350 earlier today, and then now it's it's settled Jesus. at 260. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is how I'm funding my long wings, my shell long wings, okay? This is how it's working. That's you should have sold this morning. Sold. <laughs> I sold it. This morning, yeah. yeah. Let's see Let's see no, how... I, want, uh, I, want, I might sell when it. it gets to 500. That's the only stock that I hold. If it gets to 500... What are you guys going to use your Biden bucks on? <laughs> I, I think uh, I'm going to be possible and put my Biden bucks into the I'm moving oh, fund. My... Sorry, Howard, I would have had a flash. Jacket. <laughs> I, I mean, like hey, maybe I'll probably get something. I'll probably get at least one thing, but I don't know. Maybe what. computers. Uh, <laughs> there's really not anything specific I'm looking at. Maybe a pair of shoes, but that's all. Buy more a chunk of the, of the Biden bucks because we don't live in one of the countries where they get you know monthly payments. Right. Okay. Oh my God! Well, I'm so how about mad. instead of if you want monthly payments, how about you get a job? Yeah. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> get a job. Pick yourself up by your bootstraps. When, yeah, I was yeah. ra- when I was your age, I was working at McDonald's. Uh, I don't even with have a noose mistress. around my neck. I'm what wearing a shell port of boots, what the and I'm picking myself doing, up Brian? by them. What the hell are you doing, Jose? Okay, she's got big balls. I have a fucking flush. I'm so mad. Royal one. Oh <laughs> my god! I would have beat the shit. Called it. Called it. I called it, baby. Damn. <laughs> That's rough. I mean, the thing was, right? It's like I, I had a I, pair. I, yeah, no, no. I was gonna it say, just wasn't I, the hard I, I had a I, fucking I flush. I was considering folding, and I was like, you know what? I can absorb this loss. Why not? <laughs> and this is why this is why what we call rich privilege. Okay, the rich people can take any <laughs> loss that they want. That's really raining. Maybe I should. What kind of shoes? Oh, uh, for me. Did I say the thing about the shoes? I think I, was... I don't know. If so I... I'm, uh, if he's talking about my thing, I'm, uh, I'm getting, I want to get uh, Alden Shell Long Wings in color eight, because I, I want, I'm like kind of digging lace ups right now. <laughs> I've seen yeah, it before, but I don't get long wings. Wait, what? Long wings don't make. I don't like them. You oh don't really? Like, you don't yeah. like long wings? Why don't yeah. you grow up? Any kind of <laughs> is it, like? Do you not like broguing at all, or is it specifically long wings? I think broguing in general. Mm. I only brogue by myself. I like long wings. I have a I have a really good pair of um like vintage Florsheim Imperials. Me too. No, um, mine are vintage that are pretty good. elements. But I I just know that I want the uniform. 
Oh, B- Big S said he might get new shoes with his Biden stimulus. Again, it's like not even anything specific. I might upgrade my penny loafers, but... Uh, well, the problem good. is, you know, it's not enough money to do anything with. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pay my bills. I'm going to pay, yeah. like, some credit card debt. <laughs> it's like I'm planning on, put, I'm planning on putting most of my uh, tax return into my I'm moving fund, but... Yeah, I also I mean, owe $1,000 to the state. Oh, hold on, hold on. My tax return is going to include all the stimmy from last year. Because I didn't get any stimmy last year. Nice. Yeah. So wait, I might, I maybe could just blow the fourteen hundred. Wouldn't wouldn't the proper I'm moving fund be be a job though? <laughs> like, because you need you need to I, you need, I, like you need to keep paying the rent. It's not like oh, I can move out I, for like a month. I'm talking about like buying furniture and shit like that. That's the oh, I'm moving okay. fund. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, Jason, 40 coins. Uh, which one of us Wait, had to leave and come back? <laughs> well, MJ, MJ. MJ and Ivan <laughs> did that. Yeah. I'm going to have to come back, too. This fucking sucks. <laughs> You're in E-Dong's house. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you fucking hustler. Sorry, God damn it! <laughs> I just did it so you would. I could have just made it your exact amount though, but I was like, yeah. oh, I mean, maybe I could get a summer sport coat. I might get a summer sport coat with my, with my stimmy. You don't want to uh, listen. Okay, your stimmy what, covers your, plenty of Mad size? King George okay, let's look, let's merch. Look right now, I'm gonna look at my phone, Spencer. <laughs> and what, what do you? you that's pumping something into the economy. Yeah. I mean, Spencer, what's your you what's your normal jacket size? Forty two. Okay, I'm looking at ring jacket 44. Let's go. Let's see what you got here. Oh shit, Spencer! What ring jacket unstructured what? balloon sport coat on eBay right now, size 44. What? What? Like, what does it look like? Send a link. It's, Put it in the uh, Discord. Plug for the Discord. Wait, is it size 44 for the or 54? So yeah, 50 US 44. Uh, EU oh, okay. 54. Yeah, I was worry. like, big difference don't, there. Don't worry. I know. I, I work. I know what this is. Wait, Spencer. <laughs> oh, man. Um, how do I do I this? Copy. I'm going to put this. I'll put this in lives. Spencer, you can make yeah. it. You should get. Yeah. You need You need a proper Navy sport coat. Let me tell you, brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need, a, you need a, a popper. A popper? Is your popper penguins? Because yeah, I like uh, Mr. Want, Popper's I, Poppers. Unfortunately, mo- oh, this does look pretty good. Unfortunately, most of the sport coats Mr. I have, I don't, uh, I don't really. Uh, Ooh, how's the chat doing? Like, good pair. Uh, yeah, I'll address it really quick here. Oh wait, who won that one? Me. Chuck. Chuck got Chuck. I was hoping on either a flush or a straight. Uh, Ethan, do you have any desire to check out any other shoemakers besides Alden? Uh, not no. at the moment. Uh, I would. I would mean, you know, maybe the only thing. All I these I'm, nuts. The only thing I'm kind of entertaining are like Bad One and Lange. La- Lange? Langa? No, Lange. Lange. Bad One and Lange. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, I want to try their um. Fuck me. Uh, they're Belgians, just because I, I really do want a pair of like shoes to wear with evening wear. But I know that I would wear like shell lace ups more, and I I can't try on Crockett and Jones <laughs> anywhere. Right. Uh, and so that kind of just throws out everything else that I would probably want to try because I. Do you like, want some like velvet slippers? Yeah, I yeah. like that too, yeah. but I, mean, I think I would wear like I would wear Belgians more. Like the stubs and Wooten. I just Because yeah, the thing with velvet slippers is they feel I mean, I don't know. It's kinda cool just to wear them wherever, but they also feel like too like precious, too yeah. like nice to just wear. Uh see I like the idea of wearing them wherever because they're so like that's precious. True. Yeah, I have because it's like I have the pair that we were, you know, very graciously gifted by Stubbs and Wooten. Um, but unfortunately, the only one that I really, really, really liked was like uh, like a half size up. Oh, um, no. And so I have a couple of inserts, but it still doesn't fit perfectly. See, I and have so, the opposite issue, right? Where mine are just a half size too small. Yeah. 
unfortunate. So now, you know, now, like, if I want to wear a slip-on around the house, I'll probably just wear my, you know, one of my two pairs, well, my three pairs of loafers. Rather than the stubs and moving Shock, back. you're offline. Yeah, my, uh, computer just crashed. Oh, no. Oh. Give me a second. I'm pop- all right. I hate computers. <clears throat> The pot's all gone. Do you have a seatbelt on? Mm. I gotta make a decision here. When I bought my computer, I thought, oh, I'm really good at buying clothes used online. I bet I can buy a used laptop. (laughs) But now my laptop sucks. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, CJ, I I have a lot of Yeah, I I know that there's a couple of, like, uh, Carmina, like, lasts that I definitely enjoy, but I would still want to try them on in person, which means, like, New York or whatever. Just, like, yeah, just like Crockett and Jones or even Badwood and Lunch. So it just Alden so far is what I know I like and it works with what uh I already wear. So yeah, because I mean I mean, yeah, maybe it's stepping up in terms of of uh like quality, like you know, the the craftsmanship wise, but overall in last, like I feel like it starts diminishing in, in the styles. And I I'm not a bold shoe guy. So, like, I I just don't think it would be right to have a shell tassel loafer and then a Crockett and Jones tassel loafer. I feel like that that doesn't make any sense. Like, when are you even gonna wear it? Okay, fuck you guys. I get spoiled living in Japan since most of the department stores carry all the big shoemakers. Oh, you live in Japan? That's what does that feel like? Yeah, see, that's I mean, what I could do is I could just like, you know, they made a fucking blow $300 on a shirt from Mr. Freedom. Like, who make, you know, in my opinion, some of the best looking casual shirts out there, but they're all so expensive. <laughs> I had a pair of Queens. The new one with eights. Oh, baby, come on. I you can't do I just it. Fucking you can't. Woo! Here we go. This is my I'm last one. Go on the Mr. Freedom <laughs> store. See what I can get with a 1400. Can I maybe yeah, get a jacket? Yeah, yeah. Spencer, I'll go with you and I'll, I'll photograph everything you try on. Well, it'll be like, you know. It'll yeah. Be, uh, I, well, here. it's like, no, listen, I don't want to badmouth Mr. Freedom, who I still think is a really cool brand. But their recent collections, I, I don't know, they've been so boring. Like, they used to do stuff that was, like, oh, this is, like, based on, like, shit that, like, Apaches in Paris would wear in, like, the 1910s. And now it's all, like, the same, like, 60s Ivy stuff that everyone's doing. Um, and it's, you know, still, like, really cool fabric, really cool details, but I miss when the stuff... I don't know, I wish their, their stuff was a little bit more out there. It's funny because now we're now we don't like Drake's for being too out there while we're, you know, promoting the loss of all the trad. Yeah. Can you uh give my old seat mm. the boot? How do I give your old? Really, just numbers. I'm removing the player and I'm adding in Chuck 2.0. Whoa, you can't have that much money. Wait, was that how, wait, that's how much you had. Okay, what was the game? Twenty one sixty four. Twenty one sixty four. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I just I. I... Twenty one sixty four. It's because it's because. Wait a second! You're not rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because MJ and Ivan both put random amounts when they joined back in. So I was like, I just got used to like, no, you don't. You guys lost. Seventeen thirty eight. Oh, did you? Okay, maybe it's just Ivan who put like like ten thousand dollars. Nine hundred ninety nine. Okay, well that's wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna pee while you guys do this. Uh, I could oh, get a pair man. of pants for Mr. Freedom. I really like their pants too. They have all the details. All right. in it. Uh, nice. How do I? I'm gonna leave and come back. How do wait? How do I? Can I buy back in? There's a button that says step away. What does a step away do? Well, you got yeah, you got removed you already. Forward. What did you? Well, how did you do the? How did you guys get bought back in? Um, just click, click on a seat again. Then mommy. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll do that. Why, All right. I requested why, why? my seat back. Okay, I'm coming. They have a denim Harrington, which looks pretty cool. Uh, I was gonna say. 
Yes. And I'm back in, baby. Uh, I, I was going to say, um, why don't you just get a bunch of, why don't you just get like two or three bespoke shirts, dude? I could do that. I could get a couple bespoke shirts. <laughs> that was a great laugh. Thanks. Yeah, uh, this could be the time where I finally uh, go for uh, uh, Ascot nice. Chang. Yeah, dude. Wow. But yeah, I'm, I mean, come on. I'm looking at Mr. Freedom right now. They got they got mattress shirts with a spear point and pleated pockets. Wow. This is pretty good. I might buy something off that uh ALD season. I haven't decided mm. yet. The yellow vest. The yellow vest is the yellow vest is good. Nice and tight. Hmm. All right, here's a fashion question. Who do you think would win in a fight? Calvin Klein or Ralph Lauren? Ralph Lauren. I think probably Calvin. Yeah, fist fight. Um, is an old, old. They have access to anything in their catalog. Okay. <laughs> well, that, I, that, feel that, like, I'm I feel like I feel like Ralph Lauren probably gun. one of his lines <laughs> sells like yeah, like fucking hunting, you know, equipment. So. Yeah, and that was that was good foresight on his part. Yeah. Oh shit. All right, who would win in a fight, Calvin Klein or Tommy Hilfiger? Hilfiger. Mm. Yeah, Interesting. Tommy. Hilfiger. Yeah. Why figure, you say that? He's way taller and he's like, he looks healthier right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mark Who's... Jacobs or Calvin Klein? Oh, Mark, Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs, like yeah, Mark no Jacobs. Mark Jacobs wears like stiletto heels. Like, <laughs> yeah. Those are like, weapons. Pull, pull a heel off and stab yeah. you. With <laughs> yeah, that's style. a real worry. <laughs> that's why I'm afraid of women. <laughs> <laughs> that that's that's the only just get, reason. Just get yeah. just get I gouged. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, 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 so um, I talked um, about uh, my ideal Vegas outfits earlier. What is everyone else's um ideal Vegas outfit? I don't know. Cargo shorts and Darth Vader t shirt. There you go. That's a great one. If I'm doing if I'm doing the lamest outfit I can possibly wear to Vegas, it's like a graphic tee under a blazer. All uh, right, now I'm being called out. And boot cut jeans. <laughs> yeah, okay, no, I'm no longer jeans, being called out. Nike Vapor Max, like yeah. Um, I like that you're leaning into the sleazy part of Vegas. You're going con yeah. man with it. Oh, absolutely. I think, you go, I think you go sports shirt under a blazer. Yeah, I mean, I, I, like that's, that's, when, that's, that's what I said, right? Aloha shirts, baby. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is, I, this I'm is definitely, I mean, when I go to Vegas, I'm bringing my uh, my Groove and High shirt. My, like, like red. red like, one of those yeah. red with, like, the white stripe down the middle. That's what I'm bringing. I'm, it's a good um, thing I held on to my $20. Right. I'm gonna about to be out again. <laughs> oh, 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 still in the game. Crazy. What? Thank God. Okay. That, that <laughs> was a little bit. <laughs> Breathe. Bolo tie. Jesus. Yeah, bolo tie would be good for Vegas. I might have to. Oh, like, bolo tie is a good move. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Satchel or tote? Oh. oh. I think take a tote, tote in general, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. right? Don't people in Vegas just bring around fucking suitcases with them all the time? That's what you do. You never know when you're going to buy Oh, in Vegas. In Vegas. In well, Vegas, it's special, yeah. I have a suitcase full of cash with me at all times, but I mean, I oh, also yeah. have my tote bag. No, I mean, like, uh, in Vegas would be a place if you had, like, a lizard skin, like, like an okay. alligator skin briefcase that's the uh, place to bring it that's, that is the only place to bring so it really here's, yeah. here's something that's kind of it was um let me uh hold on i'm gonna go um, show up to vegas metal case put it on the table open it up unimpressive amount of cash like 1200 <laughs> bucks like all right 
I I can say like, can you put this somewhere for me? Like, <laughs> how, how many chips can I get for this many? <laughs> here's what. Here's here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go walk up to a table with the briefcase. I slam it down. I don't open it. Yeah. But I give enough authority that people assume there's a lot of money in there. Hell yeah. <laughs> or and then blood. eventually I. It, or, <laughs> And then when someone eventually wants to, you know, I, I talk a big game, someone tries to buy the suitcase from me inside, $4 and quarters. Nice. Deal or no deal style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I keep my Yu-Gi-Oh! Like card. Deal Howie Mandel's ass. <laughs> Howie Mandel has the briefcase. The classic con. Um, the, the only photo that I, well, not the only photo, the, the most recent photo I have favored on my phone. And I will not favor any other photo, so I can always find it. Is one of Howie Mandel, uh, and he's I think just eating a bunch of chocolate, but his face is just covered in the brown substance, and he's got the biggest grin on his face. <laughs> I just love it. I think you shared that one to us before. That's pretty good. Yeah, I love that. You know when he went on? Uh, he went on the Eric Andre show, and they kept calling him George Zimmerman. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and the Eric Andre must have been. Uh, tough for him because he's he's a germaphobe famous germaphobe yeah yeah, yeah. Fuck you guys hey let's go dude Damn it. i was dude, trying to get a fucking like... i was banking on this straight and it just never happened dude come on it never happened he, so uh... many people bank on the straights and it never happens yeah i thought he was not supposed to have i was OCD. scared i was he gonna does. lose again eric andre asks howie mandel he's like he finds out that his cousin like plays violin he's like so, uh, what's it like having a fucking nerd cousin? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great. I just love the one where, like, they're doing an interview, and I think, like, someone just grabs the legs of the person sitting down. That's, that's the one. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's Is that so... T.I.? And he's like... It's something. He's, he's like, like, oh, shit. Oh boy! Oh baby! What's the, what's the movie about the guy counting cards again? And it's like Miles Teller or whatever. Twenty-one. Miles Teller got Kevin Spacey in it. Yeah, that movie is good. Say, it is say, good. The reason I watched, <laughs> is I watched Seven, but Seven's not the right movie for this. It's not. No, that's a little different. <laughs> it's a different kind of counting. My uh, my friends and I have a group chat that we call Fine Movies, where you try and post just the most perfect five of a movie in there. Like twenty one is a per- you're like wow that movie was on TNT so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. Like when I watch um when I uh, tune to TNT in the afternoon, or and they have like an advertisement of all or I think it's FX they have an ad- advertisement. They have of the all movies that are yeah, coming to that. Uh, that platform or that channel, uh, and it'll be like the Will Ferrell, John C. Riley, Holmes and Watson, which is one of the worst <laughs> yeah. movies I've ever seen oh. in theaters. And they're like, Bye. they're like advertising that proudly. Yeah, they're like we have Holmes and Watson. FX was like, what if there was an entire network dedicated to X Men Two? Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. That's exactly what they did. I haven't seen X Men Two in like since I was like, like. Well, tune in to FX. I think it's, it's, on, it's on right now. Be like, yo, remember Nightcrawler? That's a <laughs> network now. <laughs> that's a there's network. Some, there's some channel that's just always doing like fucking like Marvel marathons because I always walk in the living room. My dad's watching a Marvel movie. I'm that's sure it's a like USA. Move. Yeah, it's truly a dad move. Like, Dad, what <laughs> Marvel movie is this? And he's like, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. It. He was like, I don't know. It has Iron Man in it. And you're like, yeah. that doesn't narrow it down. Yeah. <laughs> we just stayed in. Crap. Um. Yeah, I. You know, one of the things about you know me only having streaming services because my parents like cut cut the cord a long time ago cut the cable. Uh, is that i could never like yeah i never was able to see anything that was just like on tv you know mm-hmm. like spencer would always be like oh yeah like oh how come you haven't watched seinfeld it's on tv i'm like yeah i don't have it. it's not on netflix it's not on Hulu. I, can't, <laughs> I can't watch it you know um is it on hulu i guess the only thing would be it's to watch hulu. what's on amazon because there's a lot of shitty movies on amazon 
that find their way to that streaming service. And I do remember one time um, where uh, I went to and went to uh, watch an improv show, and this particular improv show, they the idea behind their ideas is that they ask the audience who you know who works in the industry who has an imdb and they have people shout out their weird projects and then if it sounds weird enough they ask that person to come up they interview them and then they do stuff based on like what they just said and one of them said he was in a movie and i was so intrigued that i watched it on amazon and it's the it's so bad it feels like it's like some you know it's like a it's like an adult but it's like i vaguely okay I vaguely remember this guy who was like talking about this movie on Amazon and I added it to my watch list. What movie was it? I forgot the exact title of it, but it's basically about how um, this guy has a hot girlfriend and he wants to fuck her all the time, obviously. And naturally, <laughs> naturally. Right. And, um, naturally. and, um, his friend's a doctor, and he's like, hey, I could... Oh, no, and she doesn't want to have sex because she always has headaches all the time, which I don't know if is, like, her excuse or she really headaches. does have a headache. And she, he asks his doctor best friend to give him a pill, like a placebo, that will make her have sex, like, increases her sex drive under the guise that it's a, um, like a, like an Advil, like, substitute or something. Yeah. And yeah. It, it backfires. That, I think it's rape. Yeah, it, it backfires. <laughs> That's because, right. Uh, it backfires because he, her sex drive gets so much that she ends up cheating on him with like a bunch of different people. And when you Oof. watch it, it's like R.I.P. That guy. It's one of those things where it's really you played yourself. <laughs> you just <laughs> you just played yourself. A classic bag fumble. Come on. What does um, high card mean? Real, uh, like, what does that mean? What is the, high card? The highest value card. If you don't have, like, yeah, you have to make the best five card hand. And if you don't have, like, a pair, a straight, a flush, then it says that you just pick, you just order your cards, like, low to high, and your yeah. high card decides it. So, like, if you have two pair, if everyone has the same two pair, but you have a nine, they have an eight, you win. Because your five card hand is better than their five card hand. Yeah. Jason, okay. just just Google uh, poker hands. Exactly. Ranked. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh. Uh, I need a, Can I get a tier video? Yeah, one through ten, it'll tell you. <laughs> uh, it'll also also um, uh, what's it called? This movie was really weird because you know how when you watch like a college film or whatever, and people like try and write these intricate storylines, but because you're limited to using your fellow college students, it doesn't really work. Like. Like you, you, like you have a character who's like a super big yeah. businessman, but he's like played by twenty five year old. It doesn't make any sense, but for the sake of the story, you have to just go with it. So the woman, the the actress playing the the main character, the, the main woman character, she's like Russian or something. Like she's clearly like just here. She's trying to make an acting career work, and then she has like a sister who is clearly like not Russian, and then like the mom <laughs> step plays sister. Yeah, and then the mom is played by someone who's like roughly the same age as the main character, as the girl main character. And, that mom. Yeah, and the thing is, like, it would make sense, like, oh, maybe she's adopted, or that's why they're close. But she goes like, yeah, ever since you know, I was ever since I was a kid, or you know, when I when I brought you out of my womb, it's like, okay, well now you just ruined everything because of that of those of those lines. No needed that visual. <laughs> yeah, like come on, dude. Yeah, it's so you had bad. to put it in just to confirm that that she was like her birth mom. <laughs> yeah. It was funny they were like, we'd have loved to hire someone older, but we ran out of budget. <laughs> <Huh>. <laughs> it's. I really wish I remember what movie it was because it's it's wild. I would love to like rewatch and see how bad it was. <laughs> I mean, I like the. Um... And I don't know how much we can get into this on stream, but the the chocolate shop uh, thing that you did, because the um, the woman who played the main character in the flashbacks uh, did not have a French no did have a French accent, but the old woman who played the main character in the present day uh, did not have an accent. They were just all American. Yeah, I uh, maybe uh, <laughs> it's yeah. it's so bad. It's. I think it's because you're gonna they, have they, to. You're probably gonna have to uh, let me back in after this one. <laughs> <laughs> What's 
Kiyoshi, yeah, what are you I'm, doing, I'm, brother? Kiyoshi's I'm kind of a shark. Here. Oh, whatever, let's fuck. You could have a shark, Fuji. Ooh. Woo! We're back in this. <laughs> this is what happened. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm spectating now. How do I get back in? Uh, a just, follow click, up on uh, these just click a seat. Yeah. Weirdest normal movies. Did you guys have? Did you guys watch a lot of like movies for like science class that were like '90s movies vaguely related to science? Like I watched The Core. I watched that one where Pierce Brosnan fights a like a uh, volcano, a, like or... a volcano. Yeah. Uh, no, I watched Dante's Armageddon. Peak. Dante's Peak. Yeah, I watched. They were like, "All right, so this afternoon we're just gonna watch this movie that vaguely relates to like." <laughs> Geology, basically science fiction. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, this is just not. Like, I hope you learn places. something. I, I unfortunately didn't get right. to do that, but what I did watch were um, lots vaguely, of porn vaguely, in class. Yeah, nice. yeah, vaguely just historical, all over. Uh, historical porn. <laughs> vaguely historical. Porn right <laughs> like I watched. I, think the... uh, I watched um, like Amistad and like uh, the like what's the baby? Oh, I saw that too. Or whatever. Um, I think the only movies I watched in science class were uh, all the movies about how evolution isn't real. Oh. Well, you can't <laughs> prove it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a theory. Mm-hmm. It's just a theory. Oh, I have yeah. a lot of theories, theory. and no one listens to them, so why do I have to listen to them? <laughs> exactly. Why do we listen to evolution? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, uh, that, there's evidence right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. How about evidence for these nuts? Oh, oh Jack, bro, please. can't see that on stream. Yeah, I went to a, uh, <laughs> I went to a, a, Christian, a Christian school that is now bankrupt and didn't exist. So I think that's a pretty <laughs> good argument against the existence of schools like that. Hmm. R.I.P. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, my mom did that on her own okay. time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what if I just bankrupt? My mom was the leader of the Tea Party for a while for Connecticut. <laughs> I missed oh, that. really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So the she was state? like, all right, the liberal, you're getting, the liberal schooling you're getting, which was, again, geology. She was like, we got to reinforce this with <laughs> some Jesus good old fashioned. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh... <laughs> yep. Wait, how did you have, you? oh, because you had a higher card than I did. The high card. The high card. The, the high, high table. Round. Table. Table. I'm under the table. You I'm are? Nice. To see that. Oh, give me a tuggy under the Jason table. Jason is dirty downstairs. Nope. Whoa, come oh, on. You don't have to say that. Oh, man. So is this what real life would be like if we all had poker night like IRL? <laughs> yeah, I would have lost I would have lost so much money already. <laughs> I think it would be a little really more colorful, pit. obviously, if it wasn't on the stream. Um, I, I will think... definitely be yelling at you guys more. Oh, yeah. When I do go to Vegas, I don't know how much I'm going to be gambling because I'm like, oh, I could spend sucks. this money on clothes instead, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. This is not a dick. Okay. I, I can't well, that, see that's Ethan's why you... face yeah. right now. He can see my face, but I can't see Ethan's face. <laughs> right. Oh, say this. This, if this, um, you can have the stream on. I'm covering. I'm pretty sure I'm covering my cards with my... Uh, with I won't see your cards. You're good. I haven't even turned it on. I gotta turn on my phone. I guess. I'm getting turned on. I am like not good mm. about like gambling. I love March Madness. I like to gamble. <laughs> uh, early in the pandemic, I was playing yeah. poker on this site with like three different friend groups. Wait, is like Molly's basically game about you? every other night. <laughs> <laughs> you went to Molly's game? Yeah, you're 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 uh you're like celebrity X or whatever. <laughs> I was up and down like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> See, I I love money too much to gamble with it. <laughs> I love yeah. money. I can't. Yeah, don't we all? He the says he loves money so much dollar. and then spends eight hundred dollars on one pair of shoes. Yeah, but there's no rush like winning like five percent of what you put back in. <laughs> I mean, honestly, my first reaction upon watch Ethan conf- confirmed this. My first reaction upon watching Uncut Gems was like, okay, I get why people do sports gambling. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. no, I, 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 it, it I said that to him in the theater as we yeah, were leaving. I, I was like, dude, that's you don't don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Like, like I, I really do love. Yeah, like let's go, part. let's go sports gamble right now. See, okay, it it's only good. it only works when like things like I can gamble. I've got a system. Don't mean anything. <laughs> like <laughs> I like like right now I'm like fine, but it's because I have four thousand oh, yeah. points here. I feel confident, but I mean I could technically put four. I could take four thousand dollars out of the bank and do this, but then. I physically can't do that. That seems crazy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, know? the key is you take like fifty bucks out, you Let's put it in your ahead. account, yeah. and then you just you just play with that money. Yeah. And then in like yeah. a week when you lose it, you put fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> well that's that's kind of what I did with GME, right? See, like, I, I, I like, should have taken up okay. gambling <laughs> when it was when I was getting eleven hundred dollars a week. Yeah. From the freaking from from all that Trump. unemployment. Yeah. I just put it into my 401k. So whatever. Okay, oh, sorry, nerd. Oh my god. My oh, I don't plan god. on making it. Boo. I don't plan on being alive long enough to take it out. So I have true. a bunch of money in my retirement account already. Um Yeah. Who knows if I'll so retire. Here's, here's the thing yeah. I here's the thing I just realized this is, sounds so stupid. I'm not financially literate cuz I'm not a I'm not I didn't study accounting. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. Um but, but when you put money to the retirement account, account you still have to reinvest it, otherwise it just sits in the retirement account. I did not yeah. realize this, and I was see. Like, here's the oh, thing: words. I just read something today where, like, it's a climate it. scientist working under Biden was like, "Well, you know, the things that we're doing now uh, aren't really gonna uh, do much." So at this point, I'm like, maybe I should Already. just have fun. You know, <laughs> maybe I should just have fun while it's still possible. Yeah. My here's my retirement plan. I, I turn. 65 yeah. i drain my 401k i put down a six-year lease to yeah. own on a late model corvette and i just drive off the highway <laughs> just, <laughs> just go guy. right off the bridge that's <laughs> it <laughs> at an angle <laughs> yeah i'm yeah. like, I'm like uh, slowly this... reinvesting my my roth because i have up to like i was like oh i thought you just put it in there and it just it just goes out and it does its thing but then I'm like, oh, that's actually I... a good point because I did. I just assumed the same thing, and now I gotta check. <laughs> yeah, right. Like I, I remember I started it out right, yeah. and I'm like, then I was like, oh, I'm being responsible. I'm putting it in there like I'm supposed to. Then I'm like, wait a minute, it's all sitting in cash alternatives. It's not. It's not in anything. <laughs> so I'm like slowly reinvesting. I'm like, I don't know. see, that's another thing about gambling. I'm like, I'm like slowly doing that too because I'm still scared that I'm gonna lose all of it or something. Like I don't want to buy a bunch of stocks or whatever. And then, yeah. you know, be like those. Aww. Well, I can't say I can't say that on stream, but you know, be like the people in two thousand eight. You know, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm having the same. I'm having the same problem studying journalism, where I'm like, maybe I should just like uh, learn how to grow crops. Dude, <laughs> every single day, I think to myself, I could have been a carpenter. Yeah. Think of like, I'm like, you know, after the collapse, what is journalism going to do? Yeah. Like, what good is learning how to interview people? I mean, if you're a journalist, we're going to have to just. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get in journalism, especially after this week when I was reading about what happened at Huffington Post, where they sent <laughs> they they sent uh, like a company wide email that said, hey, if you don't receive an email before 10 p.m. or before 1 p.m., you're not fired. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Hey, I'm like, um, my email and, account. <laughs> and then a bunch of people got an email that said, hey, join the Zoom call. The password is spring is here. And oh. then there were screenshots oh. of the internal Slack messages where it's like, they're not going to make the password spring is here and then fire everybody, are they? <laughs> and they did do that. And they, they did. did make the password spring is here That's and then fire everybody. Crap. Yeah. Yikes. So I don't know if I want to get it's into kind of uh, spring the actual journalism industry. Um, no, you don't. So Take it from one journalism I, major to another. <laughs> I kind of wish I had just stuck with the history major, you know, <laughs> at this point. Well, you could combine the two and do history of journalism for something really <laughs> depressing. True. Dude, true. you should report on, like, history. Yeah. You're like, here's what happened today in 1950. <laughs> yeah. You know, honestly, that would... Be my, like, perfect job. <laughs> yeah. like all my perfect job are things that don't exist like i would love to just like i think that would be so much fun just to like look at all the things that happened like on this day and like write a fun little piece about it yeah, um I'm pretty sure like like you know stuff like people magazine have like 
sections like that where it's like these celebrities on this day yeah know, in 1968 whatever i mean my perfect job i think would be and again this is a thing that doesn't exist but this is just like you know i like uh i like doing research and i like you know writing in general i would like it if if there was just someone that gave me a topic um every week and i just had to write like a thousand words on it i had to do some research on the topic and just write a thousand what words journalism is, except, I, guess, I guess not the uh, research <laughs> Well, it just sounds like if journal- cool. okay. If journalism was still like you know, if the the well, reason I'm I don't want to get into journalism is because by uh, the just like precarity of everything, um, what, what I like job? the like yeah. if it was you know if I could get a steady job in journalism where I just go out and like do research on a different topic and do a couple interviews or whatever every week. That would be great, but the thing, the reason I don't want to get in journalism is because I will be constantly afraid that I will lose my job. <laughs> uh, what is like Alex Jones? If you like, if you I mean, like that's... the idea about writing for a long time, that's literally what English majors do and like English doctorate people do. So that's true. I'm pretty sure yeah, I had an interview with jobs. one of the writers for like John Oliver on uh, like a podcast, and he was like, "Yeah, every week we just pick up." They just do like write a report on like. I mean, well, you know, here's my ideal job, and this was a job in journalism in like the the 60s and 70s. Jason. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, is, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> is they would just um, they would just pay people handsomely uh, to live in like this was in like the National Enquirer, like you know, really like you know, I guess gossip rags or whatever. But even even like Life Magazine, they would pe- pay people handsomely. To live in uh, European capitals and just write like four pieces a year um, about what was going on in that city or that country, I guess. Um, and you would live in like you would live in like company housing or whatever. They would pay for your housing, um, and yeah, you would just have to write like four pieces a year. That it was like insane. They were spies. That sounds like they were spies. What was that? It sounds yeah. like they, were they might have been there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's their you know I would do it. <laughs> You'd be you a spy. Pay me in like Budapest well, or whatever. Said you were. You know, just uh, just pay me to live there, like pay for my housing, and give me a handsome salary to write four pieces. That would be the perfect job. Ah! Ooh. Yeah. I can't believe. Uh, I was like, I was chasing that queen. Man. I've won nothing, and I, I, I somehow got a flush. Uh, I was hoping for the straight. <laughs> I, I thought he was. I just thought he was bluffing. <laughs> Damn it! I've I've been bleeding dry. <laughs> You're bleeding it's dry. Thirty five hundred, my man. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, but by dry, I mean like a little spot of eczema that I need to like just cover up. <laughs> okay. I have eighty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on our on, Ethan, on my I second hope you go life. Broke. Can I pitch another <laughs> journalism job? Yes, please. Oh, please pitch me. Like like a, I don't know what I want to do. You're kind of like a, like a, I don't know, you don't play by rules. You're kind of like an investigative journalist on the street, kind of like, mm-hmm. and you kind of get do a billion on the street. Like, you're just like a web of lies and kind of, you know, inter seemingly disconnected events that all bring it together to a conspiracy that goes all the way to the top. That sounds fun. Yeah, you could do some sort of like Q-ish YouTube channel. I do remember, oh, like, oh, S, like, S. S. like, like college, journalism, college journalism conference, and I remember hearing, like, uh, a couple students came up who talked about um, how they did an investigative piece that got some, like, school faculty arrested, and I was like, I'll never amount to that. Yeah. <laughs> that was when I was like, like that's the goal right here. So I got him fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you can get someone who worked at your school arrested over your like journalism, that's when you know you've made it. That's yeah. good journalism. Yeah, that's exactly. Isn't, isn't that the point of journalism? What well, school? That, that like like elementary or middle or high? That does mean people. No, this was like college. Out. Like they uncovered like a like financial scandal or something at their school. Damn, that is cool. Wow. If you're yeah, like, right? yeah, I got my fucking first grade teacher fired. Yeah, it's like <laughs> for yeah. saying the n word. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can just be a labor reporter. I don't know that. There's no, there's no jobs for like 
There are no high, like, you know, well paying oh, jobs. Oh, just, oh. yeah. I'm out. See yeah. you guys again. <laughs> I'll be back in a second. <laughs> Do it now. All right, I'm back in it. Good one, Ivan. Good one. All right, I requested to join again. <laughs> Good thing I have unlimited money. You broke boy. <laughs> If yeah. You should get less I, and I less was... chips every time you buy it. It should be yeah. Every time you buy, yeah. Like, yeah. I, uh, it's like a hundred less each time. Uh, on that subject of first grade teachers getting fired, I don't have that story, but I do have an unfortunate story about my first grade teacher. Um, because she. Ended he up... said the n word. Yeah. No, they Oof. died. Oh, oh, oh my sorry. God. No, I'm sorry. It's, they, no, it's, it's not. It's not. They died. They actually were murdered. So. Oh. Oof. Yeah. No, that, that's that's funny. Funny. That, that wasn't funny. Yeah. I uh, I can't. Um, basically, I'm not gonna give the full backstory, but apparently she was visiting her husband at the hospital who had a heart attack, like you know, or or something. And as she was leaving, she was mugged and stabbed to death. Oh. Yeah, and then and then of course her husband wow. died like a like a week later because obviously you know that's what happens. Um. So, yeah. No, no but that wasn't a <laughs> journalism good. thing. Yes, that's not a journalism <laughs> no, thing. Was In the future, that. if you're gonna say that, and you're like, she was murdered, <laughs> <laughs> and then like lightning crashes behind you. My seventh uh, grade. Yeah, my seventh grade class tried to get my math teacher fired because I didn't like her. Yeah, they tried nice. to get her I did the same. And then they learned about the power of tenure in public school unions. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, me and like three fourth graders tried to just murder our teacher. <laughs> Damn. Uh, this is a parody account uh, at FBI. <laughs> at, yeah, at my FBI agent. <laughs> yeah. I, um... I have a, I have an entry on the key wiki, I think, which is uh, something that uh, tracks uh, internet leftists, and it's because I was invited to a DSA meeting, hmm. and they just um, not a DSA my, meeting. They just have my name on a list now of socialists. Oof. Nice. <laughs> because I was invited to a DSA meeting on Facebook, I have an entry on the key wiki, which is kind of fun. That's one of the first things that comes up when you Google me. I should it's see funny it. that now there's an FBI agent to check Sorry. out all like your fit pics. Yeah, <laughs> I would like that if they were like this guy was <laughs> once invited to a DSA meeting, and also he's actually he got a pretty, pretty solid fit. Insta. You should yeah. follow, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the fits are I'm a patron. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Okay. Good thing I did that. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> Get the FBI to join the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> FBI join the chat. You assume they're not already there. Yeah, my name's Frederick Brian. Integer. Uh, my name is <laughs> Ephraim <laughs> Gatsby. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it! Okay. I just kind of assume anything. Um, I'm super paranoid when it comes to, uh, right. I guess just privacy in general. I always assume someone is uh, uh, watching or listening. My rule of thumb is if you have something that is connected to the internet and has a microphone, uh, it is listening. listening. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's to drown out that, right? I just don't think I'm being crazy. Um, but I don't believe that I am. What was your uh, theory strategy for drowning it out? Uh, I just listen to uh, really loud hentai all the time. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so then the, they might hear well, I, bits I, and pieces of my conversation, but for the most part, it's just hentai. See, I, I unplug hentai, all the microphones yeah. and then and then listen to it. So. Oh, <laughs> counterproductive, but all right, like yeah. style. Always, always productive. Yeah. The stream is, uh, always productive, you're right. <laughs> and how does, uh, how does the stream look? Yeah, my tactical hentai. My tactical hentai. I've, I've weaponized hentai. Finally. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> nope. Oh, we are good. Okay. 
We're good. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I saw Scoop's message. We're still fine. Okay. Scoops, there it is. Scoops, there it is. Hey, hey, Scoops, change your name in Discord to that. <laughs> <laughs> Do it now. Ooh. Oh, Jason. <laughs> oh, Jason. Jason, what are you Jason, doing? Going for it. What do you think you're doing? I'm Jason living got life. Extra cash and all I'm of a living sudden. La Vida Loca <laughs> over here. <laughs> You, I mean, if you've got heart suited, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, you've, you've I, I see where that lives already, from. man. But I, I'm gonna, I got money. I'm going to see what your cards are. That's, I'm what do I got to lose, are. right? Yeah, exactly. Money. Uh, MJ, when are you getting the PS5? Oh, it should be uh, it should be here next week. Nice. nice. Did you get the, the set with any games, or is it just coming? Just no, it's just, uh, just playing. Hmm. Oh, no, that's uh, right. Yeah. Well, that's like a good Yeah, I hit the wrong button. I, I do uh-huh. actually. Yeah, I'll raise it. <laughs> uh, someone what told me recently that I smelled like a Chobani. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, that's terrible. Like, like, a, like, like a plain regular, Chobani. Like regular <laughs> you smell like plain Chobani? I have to go home. You couldn't have said anything to make me feel worse. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know how I would take that if I... Yeah, yes. me that either. Nice. You ever seen that? Yeah, I'm totally back in it, baby! This. We're back in it! Uh, where all the mobsters are playing poker and they all have, like, four kings. Oh, okay. uh... Jesus, MJ, already? I, 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 I've been through one life already, okay? Mr. <laughs> I've, I've gone back twice. I remember um, Why six, when, when like GTA Online first started and they introduced poker, they had to do this weird version of poker where every everyone at the table was all playing their own separate hands to get around some like gambling laws. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, I, mean, I get it, but it's it that sucks. Yeah, my laws are just. I think it might have changed by now, but yeah, when it started, everyone was like, "Why would you bother playing poker with other people in the game? <laughs> like, it doesn't." A lot of time in like The Witcher Three, just playing Gwent. Like, I didn't even play the game; I just played Gwent for like. <laughs> did anyone learn how to play? I don't know. Well, first of all, how many people played New Vegas? But did anyone actually learn how to play um, uh, Caravan in that game? Because I never bothered. I never bothered to learn the rules of Caravan. No. All right. Coming back. uh, And I'm coming. I don't think I got that far in New Vegas, to be honest. Well, Caravan was, like, introduced pretty early on, but it was, like... A thing, it was like completely optional. You never actually had to play it. Like, one of the first NPCs you talk to is like, Hey, do you want to learn how to play Caravan? Um, and I mean, I said no, then I don't know. Yeah, because it's like, it's this weird, it's this weird game where it's not a deck of cards, it's whatever, it's like Pokemon where you just like collect (laughs) like playing cards. You just, it's like, Oh man, I opened this pack and I have an ace of spades. That's so incredible. Instead of a shiny, shiny cart Charizard, um, but I do dope. not know how to play it. Even though there are achievements to it, I've played New Vegas more, maybe more than any other game. I have never learned the rules to the uh, to the card game that they invented. What if, it, what if it was like it was a card game made up of cards of different card games? <laughs> <laughs> It's like, wait a minute! I have a monopoly. Like, go straight yeah. to jail card. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ghost, I have a hand have of go straight to jail. Well. The ten of the ten of clovers and like a red energy card. <laughs> I would like that. And and, and four box tops. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm and all in with my box tops. Yeah. Come on, Ethan, show me something good. Why not? (laughs) 
Spencer's tilting. Ooh. That's oh. Yeah, you would. Yeah. It's a good thing I folded. I had, I had a pair did, of I, did I deliver I MJ? Is that what you're looking for? I'm not yeah. the baby. I don't you know. Are we still um, planning on doing the Esquire thing? Uh, what Esquire thing? I don't, how, do, how do I do that? I no, we're all getting our law degrees. degrees. What was that? I, could, I guess I could go in the... We could do that for like the last 20 minutes, so five more minutes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's it's 9.35 if we want to say end of the next round or next hand. Yeah, we'll do... We'll do all right, we'll everyone's going to be all in the next one. Commentary. We'll, do, we'll do two more hands or something. Yeah, two more hands. Hand job. Nice. No. Very cool. Very cool. Hand jobs, very cool. Yeah. I can't say that on stream. I think you probably can say that. I just did. Though. Ethan, we're not oh. famous enough to be detected. I don't think that stops. I that's think not that stops the Twitch algorithm. <laughs> the, the Twitch cops are going to come get you now. You guys see yeah. Myers Leonard got it. No. They caught him on the stream. Game. He was playing Warzone. He just threw out a slur. Oh, no, no. Yeah, I, I saw that. It was, oh, uh, I did see yeah, that. I did see that. That was yeah. bad. He used the uh, anti Semitic slur. Yeah, that, that was, was really bad. bad. Bag was fumbled. What's, what's an anti Semitic like, slur? You don't know? Yeah. Well, it starts with a K. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jesus. it right. was weird because he tried to walk it back as yeah. like. Oh, he was, I was just like, oops. I didn't know what that out. one meant. Like, yeah, yeah. like I was just saying stuff, but it's a very specific word that you can't yeah. just like. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how did it? How did it? Like, was it just a random insult? Like, literally. Well, it was like, have you seen the Have you seen the PewDiePie I, thing? Because it was I, I, the same yeah. thing as that. Wait, what did PewDiePie Ethan, do? You got killed in Warzone. He said the he N word did. while playing PUBG. Yeah. He, oh, shit. he got killed in Warzone, and then he. Yelled at the guy that killed him. Like you yeah, it was pretty funny. Like, the, like yeah. how, 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 he said, it. like, what did he say? Like, oh, you. He was blank? like, you fucking like. Oh, blank? Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, got it. Like there was, there was, there was, there was like qualifiers before the term. It was a uh, like it yeah. was yeah it was a string it was a string of uh of insults. <laughs> did you guys see the thing where Papa John um said that he spent the last <laughs> twenty months, yes. twenty yes. months more than a year. <laughs> Trying to get the N word out of his vocabulary. Well, like, and which, how many times does this man say it if it takes him 20 it's months? 20 months. And he's, he's not done. Oh he's, not he's, not done. he's still he's working on it. He's still oh working on it. He still has sprinkles it in every now and then. Yeah, yeah we, we want to know the after. We don't want to know the during, okay? Like, yeah. <laughs> no, I want to know the during. I want when it, I when he's, see the. When he's over, yeah. Is he gonna post like something like him just struggling to like? I would yeah, love a just, live like, feed having... of him where like oh, he randomly says the yeah. N word. Because you remember yeah. that, like, and then he walks the over feed. to like a board that says days since said the N word, and <laughs> yeah. he has to erase it. Oh, from zero. The thing that actually got him <laughs> fired was he said the N word during like a sensitive sensitivity training meeting where they're trying to get yeah. him to stop using racial slurs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said the N word during that meeting. Oh it's all a fun, fun, it was like a rocky <sighs> montage style training of him trying not to say the n-word it's like okay oh, right. they Most keep flashing sweatsuit. pictures of like you yeah. know different <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there's somebody standing by like with a timer just like how many how many minutes can he go without saying it <laughs> they show him like a picture of like a light-skinned person yeah, oh, like... no. <laughs> just like barack <laughs> Obama. Yeah, yeah there's like yeah, Barack Obama. He's <laughs> like, mm. you see him, you see him like flinch. <laughs> yeah, I need more of this. I need more of this Papa John. PewDiePie, PewDiePie did, uh, he said hard R. Or like he's, he said hard like R, hard yeah. hard R when he hard got killed R. in PUBG. Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. The hardest. You can't even. Are. There's. There's no leeway in that one. I mean, my favorite thing is after that happened, people were like, "Well, he just said a gamer word." <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. For those gamers. What a redder. For those crazy That's gamers. Awful. Is this? Uh, is this last hand? 
Uh, MJ said, looking at how well, we got to yeah, we got to determine when the last hand is, so when we all yeah. we all know when to go all okay. in. Okay, yeah, I got to determine when okay, I got to leave by six hundred dollars. We'll go through this one, and then we'll, the one after this one. We'll do the one after this one. All right. Okay. Oh, says everyone doing eighty. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't my fault. I, I mean, you, you, you don't have to go all Come in on, yet, Chuck. but uh, well, you know. Let's well, fuck it. Let's do it. I no, wait. Oh, now? No. Next one. It's the next <laughs> one. It's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my. You thought you had you time. You don't. You don't have time. <laughs> oh, my God. It's over for Jesus. me. This is. <laughs> Good thing I folded <laughs> shit. I would not have been able to. Uh, I would not have been able to do that. Jason might come out on top. I might come. I might win this somehow. No. Oh, no way. Son of a bitch. No. Oh. I win. Oh no. my god. No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, you wait, we got to keep doing it. We got to keep doing it. We got to keep doing it. This is the last hand. Yeah, this is the last hand. MJ and Ivan are out. <laughs> no way. Let me back in. Damn, I had pocket eight. Pocket sand. Jesus. Damn. Kiyoshi just got to go all in, dude. <laughs> There we I'm go. Going to you get two pings. Oh, list pings. Oh, or at least collect the five dollars per month. Oh, oh my you guys are fucked now. god! <laughs> oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Get the fuck out of here! Jesus! This is oh no! Oh hell. my god! We're talking about Esquire. Got all the money. Fuck Kiyoshi. this! Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, my <laughs> Kiyoshi is the winner. Kiyoshi wins this. Oh, nice, we nice God. job. We nice thought, job, my dude. <laughs> Jesus. He just good. left the Discord call. Oh, he was so angry. God, he just left. Dead. All right. 